Oh, so I see Dom and Dom and still ain't learned they got down this and my fuck around with patient files. Okay, Trip, that's prison time. Are you sure you ready for that? Keep on listening to an obsessed fan if you want to name Jay. Cause she obsessed with a boy that don't like her. But yeah, she wanna fuck up their line cause all of a sudden he don't want her no more. Trip, that's the money hit the prize you gonna pay. You see the first time you got out of it scot free. The second time might not be so lucky. I I stop while I'm ahead. Oh, so one more time, one more time. Yeah, Jane, I heard you were leaving sometime in the summertime. Okay, it's summer. When the hell are you leaving? I heard that you're going to commit one more last act for you go. Hurry up and commit that damn act and get your ass out of Salem. I'm sick of you. And you manipulating this boy trying to fuck with Kayla. It just showed me how deep and dark and ugly you really are inside to have this boy manipulating this woman's job. Fuck around with this woman's job like that. All because you mad because don't, she don't want you with her son. Jay, you really need to go to hell and go find it and get in there quick. Because you are messy here for to be doing fucking this woman career like this now. All because of a boy. And she don't want you around him. You really need to get your priorities great. And Trip, you need to be punched in the top of your head. Maybe you'll find your you'll find your brain cells and realize that this girl setting your ass up for a hard time. There's some hard, a hard time and a hard ass. That's all she's setting you up for. To make you look dumb. The blame won't be put on her. You going to pretty. She going to sit back looking pretty. Trip, you better open your goddamn eyes and realize who you talking to. Chad, the situation is about this damn marriage. This fake ass marriage that she wants you to believe that she loved all your ears. Dario needed an emergency with a marriage. Dumbass willing to give it to him, even though her brother could be faced a murder charge of heading to prison. This fool then manipulated her enough. I don't know how the hell he manipulated her, and I don't know how to. But okay. He manipulated her enough. I didn't know she could be manipulated this goddamn hard, but damn it, he took the goddamn cake and ran with him. Besides her worrying about her brother, and that's in jail or about the two steps away from going to prison. She want to marry him in this false of a man. Abigail, you better go ahead and let him go ahead and get the Mexico and get that bullet in his head. You will be better off if you were the smart bitch. You would have said, no, I'm not getting married here. You go out of town and you have to get um deported back to Mexico. Oh, well, I'm sorry. My brother more than important than your ass. I got better things to do than sit up here trying to play a scam of a marriage with you. But Abigail ain't going to say that because she ain't never had the balls to do no shit like that where well, this went down. I'm going to say this, um, Abigail, yeah, you only look like you can handle jail time, in the prison time for doing a big scam of a marriage. I hope you don't end up getting arrested for this damn, this shit you trying to run him, this scam you trying to run on our direction, that we going to accept it. Like he said, why wasn't Gabby invited to the, invited to this shit? Wasn't well, nobody invited. Hell, yeah, hey, just happened to fall in y'all lap. He's so busy trying to marry you so quick. He forgot the damn rings, the vows. What else he forgot? The rings, the vows. Hell, yeah, um, the, the, did y'all even got the, I think y'all got the certificates, don't they? I think they got the certificates. But damn, y'all y'all can have no witness. The only witness you got is your bitter ex-husband and your I don't know if Gabby, your friend, fake best friend, whatever Gabby is, you not Abigail, I guess. Trip, you know what always kill me about you? When somebody goes to tell you an Ava story, it or something you don't want to hear, you seem to take parts of this story that you want to believe in what you don't want to believe. But I'm pretty sure about 20, 50% of the story, you call a crock of shit, and you might take the first part of the story. If you want the truth, and or you want to hear stories about Ava, Shouldn't you want to listen to the whole story and take at least all of it with a grain of salt? Or at least take their perspective of the whole thing? Not just what you believe in. Don't believe your mom was that crazy. Your mother was a nut. I'm beginning to see you got part of that nut instinct in you too. You doing shit for a nutty bitch. So I'm beginning to think you a nut long, right along with your damn mama. I hope Steve taking over half of your... 
Brian, your Brian process. Cause as of now, I'm only seeing Ava coming out. I hope Steve got some part of your Brian, your process of thinking. I we can only hope that you ain't all Ava, and you got some kind of Steve good in some somewhere, somewhere in that body of yours. Cause buddy, if you don't want these Ava stories and you don't like what you hear, stop asking to hear about them. That's all I'ma tell you. Cause this scene, like every time somebody go to tell you about the Ava story, they're like. I don't believe that for one second. You lying to me. You lying to me again. You don't know what's true or false, to be quite honest. And then you want to keep on hearing these damn Ava story. You can at least go in with an open mind and whatever they say, you respect that and say, yeah, it might have been true. Well, she did come to do y'all like this. So what you saying may or may not can be true. You only must take their story serious when somebody tell you about your nutty ass mama. So why even bother listening to them? I don't understand you. Abigail, this marriage is not real. Stop playing with yourself, girl. I'm tired of seeing your finger in your ass. Now, would you please would you please put your finger away now? We didn't see enough of your ass playing for the day. This marriage is not real. The more you keep on saying, son, if he want to stay, let's tell him how real this marriage is. Let's do it. Girl, don't nobody believe this marriage is real. Anybody you ask about this damn marriage, they're going to look at your ass like, what the fuck is wrong with you? You going to go ahead and pass this scam off as real. You go right on here. Just keep your finger in your ass in your own property of your own house in your own house. Nobody wanna see you fingering your ass about this damn marriage. Oh my God, Eric! Sometimes your good, your good the two shoes get you and put your foot in your mouth. Now Nicole then told her to st told the story, not about y'all in the room kissing. About two seconds on having Sam, you didn't told him about the damn room. You didn't told him about what happened in the room. Now you got Brady Mal man going a million mountain. Brady, you gotta, I mean, Eric, you gotta learn to cut down on the good of two shoes now. Your good of two shoes always meant to get you in trouble. Eric, you need to learn to do this. And don't offer information that ain't needed. Now you're finna get Nicole in fucking trouble. It's amazing how somebody this marriage ain't fang. I marry him cause I'm helping him out. Mm-hmm. Hunk on these love on the and cherish you. You about to break your damn break to break your damn mouth about the same. It's like you every time something come on, you wanna do like this. You can't much get the damn words out me. It's not Abigail, tell me again why you marrying this clown again. I understand you want to help him for helping you with your love <gasps> and all that. Understand that. Can't you find another way to show your appreciation to him? Madison and Madison is going to jail time. Because if these people find out this marriage is fake, you going to jail along with him. You know that, right? Are you sure you ready to go to jail and deal with the consequences with doing a fake-ass marriage for this clown? Are you sure you ready for that? Because I don't think you ready for that mistake. And I don't think you can handle uh, uh, two hours in jail, not alone an hour. Not even much a real kiss. And, girl, you kind of must kiss your that Abigail, I can't with you. Oh, so here go the little custody thing coming into play, Abigail. I'm sorry to break it to you, sweetheart. Look at Chad record and look at Dario record. And then this fake of a marriage on... Don't even must try to fight it. Don't even must talk about court. Cause, hun, you gonna lose. Dario is a full-blown fucking criminal. You not gonna win if it came to cuss. I'm telling you this right now. Don't waste your time. Don't hold your damn breath. Don't even must try to fight Chad when it comes to you all son's safety. Cause he can literally say that his son is in danger around Dario. And the judge will believe him. Cause looking at him and looking at his past history, current history, Dario is a bad influence and a criminal. Honey, don't play with that. Don't, don't even must play around like that. And the fact that you talking about seeing your child and him being around there, show me right there, you really is fucked up in the head what I thought you was, Abigail. You want your son around this man that you didn't met for how many long now? How long you didn't long, um, Dario? And how long now you didn't...
I don't know why these women do that, but okay. Abigail, let the shit go when it come to y'all child, because you're not going to win. I don't give a fuck who you hire as a lawyer. You're not going to win. You know what, um, um, Tripp? I'm glad you waking the fuck up. I'm glad you seeing what Jay told you about Kayla. It's not really true. And as she said, it's a manipulation. I'm glad you waking the fuck up. Listen to Jade if you want to. Jade trying to send you to prison with her hands being clean, but her hands not really. I'm glad you waking up and seeing that sudden Jade told you don't seem right. And the consequences of you fucking up one patient found too many. And what can happen between Hall going from Steve going to Joey fucking up their whole damn life meaning. You can fuck them up just not by her job, by the whole chain of reaction for her fucking up by fucking up. I'm glad y'all would. Thank you, Trip. Thank you. Whatever woke you the hell up, I'm glad it woke you the hell up before you did this last thing. Thank you. Yeah, Abigail, you can do whatever you want to. You can dance. You can take pictures. You can do first dance, eat cake with your husband. However, ain't nobody believing that scam. So run that scam by somebody that don't know your ass. Maybe you might get a response and maybe somebody might believe you. We don't believe your ass. You so awkward, Ryan Dario. It's hilarious. Good luck with your marriage. I hope you don't end up getting arrested for it. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. And happy 4th of July. Bye.